as someone who basically grew as an artist with Bay Area Children's Theater to be able to come back on the other side of the table and be able to give agency and opportunity to young actors of color uh, as they get to perform for you every single show, it that again is also not lost to me and I know how profoundly grateful I am. So again, quickly thank you so much to everybody who has been a part of this creative process, including the amazing Miss Chelsea Clinton. Thank you so much. Uh, I really want to thank all of the actors who just um, warmed my heart even as they were making me cry. So, <laughs> I do that. I'm full of <laughs> such um, gratitude and, and pride and uh, humility and a lot of optimism. So I'm going to be calling out some people by name and uh, telling their age. And if you hear your name and age and you know you, that you have a question, please stand up. This next question was very popular. I have three people who had the same uh, question. Ellie, who's in fifth grade. Matthew, who is age 10. And Isla, who's nine. All of them are wondering, how did you choose these specific 13 women? So I grew up really with, with Harriet Tubman and, and Helen Keller, who both my mother and grandmother spoke a lot about, as just these kind of ephemeral but very real inspirations in my life as a little girl. And then other of the women I remember kind of when I met along the way. I mean, I, I remember watching Flojo like riveted <laughs> during the 1988 Olympics, like watching like from our TV room, like break, admittedly, it was not live at the time, um, break the world record, but I didn't know it was gonna happen. And it was just so exhilarating to watch this just extraordinary athlete just performed so amazingly with such joy. If you take nothing away from tonight, I hope you take away why it's important to um, learn from amazing women's stories and to take not intimidation but inspiration from them.